Okay, just revisiting section A. Uh, I think I missed one dynamic change. I've got this one here. So I got a crescendo um, and a diminuendo. There's one missing. There was three. So let's have a listen again. Separate, separate se Oops. This one. Separate sections of the extract will now be played three times each. Task A. Section A. Here is Section A for the first time. there as we did the rel and tender which slows the music down there was change in dynamics now how do I know well I looked at the answers so I go to the the mark book here um, so it was a clarinet, and I did say the tempo was between 60 and 70, and it was actually 70. Adagio means slow, so if you wrote adagio, that's fine. So here are our dynamic changes. So forte is your decrescendo. So you could have actually put decrescendo. Um, then we went to piano, which means soft. Um, if you don't know the English, um, the, the Italian version, or the symbol, you must put something in English. Um, you need to get where it started to rise. So here's your hairpin. It's a crescendo again. And then we've got the diminuendo or decrescendo. So diminuendo, decrescendo, they're the same thing. Okay, so listen to it one more time. This is the official answer. Thirty seconds. Here is section A for the second time. heard that it is quite challenging isn't it now let's have a look at the marking schedule so far um, surprisingly the first question was part a one there were no excellence mark given for guessing clarinet and getting the tempo so you have a leeway of between 60 to 80 Quite generous. So if you got clarinet and the tempo marking with either Dagio Lento, Lago, Andante, they even accepted Andante, which is walking tempo or walking speed. Andante is not slow. However, if your pulse was fast, then, you know, but I think that's where they're going to draw the line. Achieved. If you named an instrument to win in the instrument in the woodwind section, so this could be oboe or so anything other than clarinet, even bassoon, 
would have worked. Uh, maybe flute, if you thought it was a flute, or a saxophone. So my um, recommendation is that you just name something from the woodwind family. Um, now, in order to get an, ex, um, an achieved, you have to have, so whenever we have an and, you have to have a, a tempo. So it could be slow, medium, walking, just anything that's valid. Does that mean um, you can do fast? Well, it's, yeah, there, there's appropriate, which is more in line with, you know, the, the actual speed. This one, I think the range will be a bit wider. Okay. Um, now, question two was the excellence. So if you got two of the diminuendo beginning in bar four, a crescendo starting in bar six, and beginning on the first beat, ending on the beat four. So that crescendo um, is this one. So there's your bar four, a decrescendo, and bar six. So you've actually got to get the the right range. So make sure you start on beat one and it goes right through. And they needed something for the diminuendo to be beginning of bar seven on the second or third notes and ending at the end of the bar. So you have to be very accurate with your dynamic levels Okay, now we're going to jump ahead and try section B. Um, let's have a, just a reminder of what we have to do. Now on the score, we have to indicate slurs. Let me just get rid of this again. Okay, slurs, staccato markings, accents. So I think I've already sort of reminded myself with that, but here are my symbols. So let's see where we go. Okay, so this is B. Task B, section B. Here is section B for the first time. <laughs> Last note was pretty long. So that is a fermata which will make the, the sound twice as long. I think the one the articulation that I'll go for is staccato first and maybe that accent, an extra note that's like really loud. Okay. So I might get rid of these beats now because it's sort of confusing. Do that with a pencil. Here is section B for the second time. distinct detachment in those notes. Now, whenever I can pick up slurs, I'll put that into it. Now here I heard changes of tempo. So you're meant to get this in three goes. I think that was an accelerando. So whenever you can remember things, it's all about recall, right? Musical recall. 
so you don't have to think about dynamics this is purely here articles. is section b for the third time <laughs> to me now what will happen now is you're going to hear everything for the final time so that you don't get much of a go but do your best so i'm going to play the final playing which is the whole thing the whole extract will now be played three times oh okay here is the first playing So two candidates, I think. Okay, that's just single listening. Um, because of time constraints, I'm going to just have a look at the answers and see how I did. Oh, so there were three slurs, five staccato markings, and two accents, two tempo changes, one pause mark. So accelerando was at the top there, okay? And, oh, there was a slowdown as well, okay. Um, all right, so accent is there, we've got staccato there, there. I did hear the detachment there too. <coughs> Sorry. So you got, you only had five. Okay, that's from what I think I got. Okay, you have to identify two changes of tempo, both accelerando and rel. So I failed with this one. Fermata is that one. Actually, is there a change of tempo? I guess that's what it is. Hmm. Oh, that's and the pause mark. Okay, so if I just go back and compare. Oh, okay, so I got three. That's questionable, but I, I think I am right. Um, that's good. Yeah, I forgot to do. Yeah, the tempo changes should be up there. Um, and I missed one there. Let's see where the slurs were. Yep, there's slur there, slur there, slur marking that was given, and slur there. Okay. So I've got a slur there, one, two, and I think I basically needed to listen to this more than once. So there you go. Um, so let's just look at the, yeah, okay, two, there was no chief mark for this one, so you can't get any lower than what they're asking. They identify one change of tempo. Um, the music is faster or the music is slower. I think this question is quite doable. Okay. But you must know where your beats are. So if you have three, four, you must count one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. The counting the bars really important so that you can be in the right position 
to add these symbols as you hear them. Okay, so rhythm reading, I think it's, it's most crucial. Okay, we'll see you next time.